You see friendship. Friendship is a very wonderful thing. Honestly, I love making friends. I love making friends because the world is, is very small. I need you and you need me. You know, I love making friends because I am from Anambara and most times we talk in parables. Tomorrow is pregnant and no one knows what it will be got. You know, we need friends because sometimes Yes, sometimes our friends understand us more, more than your family members. Sometimes your friend understand you more, more than your husband. Sometimes your friend understand you more, more than your relatives. There are some certain things you will, you will love to share with your friend and the problem will be solved. You know, for this reason, we need friends. We need one another. No matter how, you know, how worthy you think you are, you need friend. I need friend as well. You know, but as time goes on, it seems as if it is harder and harder and harder to find a decent people to be friendly with or to be in a decent relationship. You know, at first glance, it seems good seems nice it seems interesting it seems loving to hang out with yeah you know the same person that we decided to invite into our lives because we thought that it means a lot to us because we thought that it's so nice to us because we thought that it's the same person that we feel so comfortable to share our burden to and we get it solved you know the same person that we that mean a lot to us suddenly turn out to be a very toxic draining energy human being mm -hmm. i don't blame you and you don't blame me for choosing a long person because initially they can be so so deceiving do you know why <laughs> some people make friends with some one reasons or the other you know when someone is in need, when someone is in need, the person can be down to earth to you. The person can be down to earth for her to get what she wants. Inside their heart or inside the person's heart, the person knows that this person, I don't even love this person. Huh. I know what I'm targeting. Once I get what I'm targeting, I beg you, come out of job. So for this reason, at first glance, they can be so deceiving. It's not, and when someone is nice to you, when someone is down to earth to you, there is no how you will not show love to that person. There is no how we, you will not reciprocate. How you will not show kindness to that person, you know, especially if the person is in need, you know, if you're in a position to help, you know, you can give the person a helping hand. You can, you know, you know, you can do a lot to her just for her to be okay. You know, inside the person's heart, the person really knows that I am into this game because I am targeting something. I am into this game because I want to achieve something from this person. You know, once the person achieves that thing that she wants, Huh. the flag started to turn red. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you are doing something for your friend, don't see it as if tomorrow you are going to receive something in return. Even if the person didn't appreciate you, don't regret. Or don't expect the person to be worshipping you like God because of what you did for her. You did that thing for her act of willingness. You did that thing for her because you value her as friend. That is why you did that for her. So at the end, don't blame yourself for making a wrong choice when the, when the green flag started to turn red. Don't blame yourself for all the help, for all everything that you did for your friend. Even if the person didn't appreciate that, don't regret anything. There is power in giving. The more you give, the more you receive. 
Mm -hmm. Sometimes I always love to be in a position to give. And sometimes I always love to give to those that I don't want to receive something in return. When you give, there is blessing awaiting for you. Go and check a lot of people that are doing well. Most of them, they are dangerous givers. So I have seen a lot of things on the internet. I have seen a lot of reaction on internet. Hi, it's too much. Hi, I wish that you guys will react on my videos like this. I want to go viral. I want to be YouTube celebrity. <laughs> so I have seen a lot of reaction on the on the YouTube that this and this, that this one did this, this one did that. It's these people that are very, very matured. They know what they want and they know what they are doing. Friendship is a very wonderful thing. On the other hand, when the green flag started to turn red, it's also very okay for everyone to go their separate ways. For your health being, you know, it's, very, it's even better they go their separate ways than for them to be in a very toxic relationship. That one is even bad for your health bad for your mental health and also bad for, for both physical and otherwise. When we are in friendship and they seem that it's not working out anymore, it is quite okay for everyone to go their different ways. It's quite okay. Go different ways and make another friend and move on. <laughs> Such is life. <laughs> Make another friend and move on. Chap, chap. That such is life for you. You know, it will not continue to dwell in the past. That has been the past tense. Move on with our life. You guess what I mean? Mm -hmm. It irritates me sometimes is seeing people rejoicing over two friends that they just break up, over two friends that are no more friends, or some people too are too good to, they're always listening to the marriages, you know. Once this marriage, they have divorced, you know, it, it, it becomes the talk of the town. They are even talking as if they are happy that that marriage is there no more. Some people are even talking about it as if that marriage is, as if they are happy of what is going on, you know. When two fr friends decided to go their different, separate ways, it is wonderful, okay. And all these things people are saying is just an assumption. They have not come out publicly. To say a word. The best thing that we can do for those people, if we think that we love them, is to pray for them. You know, let's pray for them in as much as we are here for views, in as much as we are here for money. Let's also be our brother's keeper. Let us also be our sister's keeper. Let us also learn to pray for one another, especially. In difficult times. This is my thought on this, and this is my view on this. Ndi bo si no onye mara asu ya suano do onye mwa kwa na asu ya megene ya suana ane. If you love this video, if you love everything I said about the video, please don't forget to give me thumbs up. It's like I didn't even do introduction <laughs> when I started this video. For my new subscribers my name is Nikki. i'm a nigerian youtuber based here in spain and for my ogs i love you all <laughs> thank you all for always coming to watch my videos i do not take that love for granted okay take care of yourself and see you all on my next video bye bye <laughs>